Did you bring it? He's waiting outside. I've got it, all right? What's up to him? So, after Brian's f***ing bus, we're bound to beat Ipswich. So, today we'll lose. Look, Tony, it's just a bet. We're not the first. Think about it. Hundred quid. It's three weeks' wages. Nobody's gonna get hurt. We have more wages if we're caught. We won't get caught. You want her upstairs, Tony? Tony! What? Who wants me? I've put a tie on him, how are you? Sit down, okay, lad. Well, lad, you may as well know we've decided to sell it to Everton. Mr. Catrick here has made us a good offer, so there's an end to it. Today will be your last match for Wednesday. You can go now, lad. Thanks very much. What if I don't want to leave Sheffield, eh? I'm a home-loving boy, me. There's good homes in Liverpool, Kay. My wife hates scousers, Mr. Chairman. Seriously, there's a problem. She's told me so. But I go so far as to say it's a phobia. Maybe I'd best go see Players Union. Union be buggered. You'll do as you're damn well told. Will I? If you don't mind, gentlemen, could I have a few minutes alone with Mr. Kay? Sixty quid a week plus bonuses and a new seventy. Eighty. <laughs> I don't know. If we win the title. Who's we? You, Everton. Me, if I sign for Everton. You get a medal. Something real. Something to hold in your hand when the cash runs out. You don't get one here. Why do you think I left? Now, come on, Tony. Put all this behind you. Come on, play. Want that medal, boss? We'll get it. Hey, one more thing. No, whatever it is. A jag. A shiny new one. Well, don't worry. I buy it myself. <laughs> Are you in on this or what? Oh, no. Not him. for Christ's sake, Tony. Is that blind bastard with the wolves? Well? No. What? I'm not doing it. You've already placed your bet. I said I'm not doing it. Anyway. I wouldn't know how.
I know the lads at Sheffield really could be nicer. They're, they're completely supportive of me and um, they just wish me the best. So, now many people might find it rather surprising. You're the most expensive player in England and yet you haven't got an international cap. Do you think you stand a better chance of playing for England now that you're with Everton than you did when you went Sheffield went? Well, um, I'd like to hope so. You know, I, I, all I can do is play my best for Everton and things seem to be going you know, very well there. And, and as I understand it, uh, Mr. Ramsey's. I'm going to come and see some of the games, and if we keep playing well, you know, I just look forward to 6 to 6, obviously. What is it for you, Gibbard, eh? What? What is it with you and football? It's personal, all right? Personal. Are you ready yet? Yeah, done it. Yes! 1-0! Who knows to see you playing for England in the World Cup in 1966? Good luck. Thank you very much indeed. Woman, I came home to you, didn't I? Oh, yeah. What for? I was homesick. Oh, so it wasn't the beer. Hey. I'll tell you what, though, that's not too bad, this. For the first game. Get off. That's enough of that. Come on, Tony, get up. Hey. I'm a bit keen, aren't you? Some of them want to move. Tony, I can't go. Well, the ex me. Oh, Tony, I mean it. Get up. Just newspaper talk, you know what they're like. Oh, yeah. Gilbert and Camplin. Never heard of them. Yeah, you know, Camplin is a football man. Well, who's Gilbert, then? Now, what do they know? I mean, bookies lose thousand, name names. There'd be no football left if they did that. Who was it, Bronco? Eh? This mystery man with the fantastic odds, who was it? Just a mate, I told you. Well, tell me his name. Jimmy. Gould, Jimmy Gould. Jesus Christ. He's all right. I played with him at Mansfield. Yeah, well, you see him again. You're telling for me he's all right. Dick Turpin. A robber. Jimmy wouldn't do that. He's a smashing bloke, honest. Listen, I'll have a word with him. See if we can sort something out. <sighs> Don't bother. Rather just forget it. Oi. Oi. You're still taking your cut, though, eh? I just want what's mine. Nothing more, nothing less, all right? I'll see you two boys at Everton next time you come for a thrashing. I hate it. I can see I'm gonna hate it. Ah, oh, give over, woman. It's Lancashire, bloody Africa. There's no shops. Well, I'll give me a chance. I'm building it. Kids will murder those lawns. Will you shut up and start enjoying yourself, for God's sake? What's he looking at? I don't know. I'll sort him out. Morning, Major. God. Oh, God. Marty! They're here! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, eh? Where is everybody? They're all in bed, making mad passionate love. <laughs> they do a lot of that round here. <laughs> Tony! Mrs. K! On behalf of all true Everton supporters, I'd like to welcome you to Formby. 
And I said, it's not my white stick, it must be the Japanese. <laughs> well, isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it the nicest house you've ever seen? Straight out of the pages of Vogue. I'll take the mind of one next door. Only joking. Everything's perfect, everything's brand new. Look at that, 14-inch screen, brand new wood cut. This is for you off the boys. Nice little memento. Boy. Solid wood in on your fireplace. Mm -hmm. South American mahogany. Lovely sweet. If you want to change the car from any colour, I'm sure the club will sort it out. And of course, a bottle of bubbly to go with your own personal little bar. Now, this way, Mrs. Cave, you want to have a look at your kitchen. It's got everything in, loads of cupboard space, brand new mixer, lovely worktops, brand new cooker there, brand new fridge, American style. There you go. Make lolly ices for the children. That's sound. Now, listen, young man, come and see this garden. You think your dad's a good footballer? Wait till you see me. Come on, Chuck. Christ, Tony K, what have we done? We made it. That's what we've done, we've made it. Come here. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> it's funny. Save your energy for the big game, lad. Come and have a look at the garden shed. 